guys, and we look a mess, but we just like kind of woke up. Yeah, so in this video, we're going to do a makeup tutorial. This is for a night look. I'm doing like an evening night look slash afternoon look. And yeah, and maybe later on, we will have a... We're having a... Target haul! Yeah, we're going to Target. Hopefully, she's allowed to come. And we're going to buy a bunch of like beauty products, I guess. Yeah. So, let's First, you'll need some like makeup wipes if you have any other makeup on from last night. <laughs> Okay, so I guess your eyebrows need it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you brush them this way. So we're so Don't we're, they get really bushy if you look, brush them this way. Look. What we're gonna do is just take off our makeup and then we'll get to the tutorial. If you were wondering, we were using the uh writing removing wipes and they're gentle and they're so all we do is just getting the makeup out and then we're just going to move on with the tutorial. So what I'm going to be starting out with, uh, sh like since we're only like 11, 12, she's 11, 12, same thing. We're going to just apply the concealer, Fit Me Concealer, under her under eye. Look at the screen. <laughs> and then after, you're going to do it to her other eye as well because, and then... Sometimes you have you don't what, you had a pimple on your nose once. It's not there anymore. Oh, thanks for saying that. I'm sorry. No, you even remember you had the acne wash. Remember? You remember? Yes. So you can show them your whole face where we applied it. And we're going to use this Mac 217 concealer brush and just blend it all out. So that's what you're going to do. Is you can. Is blend out. Don't use foundation for this look because it will make it look really bad. And if you use the concealer, it will like fix up very well. So, yeah. So all you have to do is just blend out, and we'll get back. I'm changing the concealers. Last time for her face, I used Fit Me, but for her eyes, I'm gonna kind of use it as a primer. I'm using the True Match because I feel like that will like good. And the best thing about the True Match, what we're going to do is you're going to take your concealer or primer and cover up the whole entire lid because this look is very gorgeous and you want it to stay on because it's more like an evening look. Yeah, so and you try to want to wing it out, but you're going to blend it. So you kind of just want to blob it on. This has to be neat because you're going to blend out later. And you're just going to want to make it really... Now it's the point where we want to blend it out. So this is what I used. And then... You're gonna, you can blend it out with the brush or your fingers. So I like to use my finger because it's way quicker and there. Yeah. Now, the difference is look how brighter her eye looks. Her eye will look. It looks way brighter and it will make your color stay on. So, I'm going to be taking this. LA Colors palette. She has two of these. Um, <laughs> and this, <laughs> she uses that color a lot. I can tell. Yeah. Um, definitely fresh. Okay, you're gonna take an eyeshadow brush from Forever Twenty One, right? Mhm. Mm and I'm gonna be taking this gold kind of color on both sides of my brush, and just doing it on your eye. On this eye, you're gonna apply it. To her hand. Here, I'm gonna use my finger for this. You're gonna apply it to her leg. From her inner corner to her outer lid. Looks pretty. And then take the where's the leg? 
do it again. What? Well, oh, found it. I'm going to take this red on the palette and take the cream eyeshadow, sorry, the brown. You're going to take a brown kind of color and put it to your outer half of your lid. Because this is going to show you, don't, it looks not blended out now because this, where this dot is, because I went over, it's going to go into her crease. And then, take it this. And then apply it into her inner corner. Let me see. Look at me. Looks pretty. You just need mascara to fix it all up. <laughs> and then. Oh, yeah. To cover up that brown, I'm going to be taking this coat <laughs> to color this color for her out where we place the cream eyeshadow and you're gonna brush in towards it and then kind of just go down more because we missed yeah so half of the lid and then I'm gonna add more gold I'm gonna be adding this gold color And then I'm gonna be highlighting her brow bone. Okay, so after this is a very shimmery look. You're just gonna need a matte white and then highlight up here. And make sure it blends out really good. Yeah, like you can't even tell it's there. <laughs> yeah, it's in concealer. Okay, so I'm going to do the other eye. But mascara looks better. So, mm -hmm. we finished both eyes. You can just give them a tour. Before we get to the mascara, we're going to get to Wait, the... did you highlight this? Oh! Yeah, so I guess... Mm -hmm. I forgot to highlight her brow bone. I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to blend it out real quick. Then we're taking the baby lips. Just, okay. And you're gonna just put it on. We're gonna put on a different color shade. So, and then she'll blend it. So, you're gonna be taking some sort of chapstick or like a baby lips count and then apply lips like this. Is this your first one? Oh, I think so. Yeah, this is her like favorite one. It's Cover Girl. Right? Yeah. Where is it? Yeah, that's cover girl. And this, it's very shimmery. I know. It smells good. Mm hmm. And then, so you just want to apply it to her bottom lip. And make sure it's shimmery and or glitzy somehow. And then, final, we're taking this Lioness Lashes. She's just gonna. Well, this is a big one. She can shut her eyes. Okay, so we're going to apply this and we'll get back to you guys. So, yeah, I'm going to give you a quick run through of her eye. That's what it looks like. I think that is gorgeous. Oh, if you wanted to, you can apply a blush, but I don't really. I think if you bronzer will go better with this look. So, I'm going to give you a tour. Here's her lips, her side of her face other side her eyes and you can fill in the eyebrows if you like do you want me to if you want to yay okay so you have to kind of pick where, where's your angle brush i don't know did you take it out no nah. oh well. um i have to try to match the color i want to make them i think this is the color even though this i'm using a concealer brush Okay, make a shape with your eyebrows. See, like me. Make mm. a shape. Mm. Yeah, doesn't matter. I'll make it for you. You're gonna make a square, and then you're gonna color them in. Square. You're gonna, you're gonna wanna. Oh, 
Is that about your color, kind of? Mm. I feel like you look good, though. No joke. I feel like you look really good with this color. You look old, or, like, in a good way. Oh. Do you want to do the front part? Because I can see hair. In here? Yes. Yeah, I'll... <laughs> You're like... Oh, I'm gonna blend it in more. I make it triangled. I'm gonna set it right about here. So yeah, you just wanna make sure he you square your eyebrows. Because, sorry, this looks good with squared eyebrows. And then you're gonna take and go under them and make them even. And then go above them. Uh, <laughs> it looks, you look different. They look so bushy. In a good way. I think you look good. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm scared. Oh, what if I go to Target <laughs> like this? You will look like a model. <laughs> you will look. So good. So yeah, this is concludes our makeup look. Don't do the eyebrows. <laughs> Unless you're good at it. Hey! <laughs> well, I'm not used to doing my eyebrows. Like, I kind of just leave my eyebrows alone. Because they're already bushy enough. Okay. <laughs> so, this isn't even an even look. Uh, look. We're far away. <laughs> <laughs> They're far away, she doesn't look too bad, right? No. No, wait, from far away, she looks really good, actually. Look at this one! No. <laughs> so bad! <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna take off the eyebrows, and yeah, and that will be conclude the mix. Well, I have a unibrow, yo.